Welcome to our coverage of NAB 2012. Well, it's early morning here on day two at NAB 2012, and we're here at uh, Kessler's booth talking to Eric Kessler. Now, last year they uh, showed us some um, technology demonstration of your motion control system, and you've come a lot further in a year. So can you give us a quick update on where you're at in that whole process? Sure. Well, we're almost done. Um, we are hoping to release the system in June. Well, we should be releasing it, at least in small quantities in June. And... Um, as you can see here, we're you know we're pretty much finished with it as far as the uh, the build of it, and we're just tweaking up some software, uh, getting the HTML5 uh, serve up, uh, rock solid. So give us a give us a quick overview of the feature set here. What makes this product unique? Well, it's fully digital. Uh, our original system, the Oracle, was an analog system. Had it was very powerful for what it was, but a lot of guys that were wanting to do composite work. Uh, visual effects and I guess higher levels of doing motion time lapse needed that exact repeatability and, and editing of the path. And so, in order for us to give that, we had to go to a fully digital system. So, this is fully encoded motors. Uh, we have, you know, basically it's talking back and forth. So, so the end result for the user is that digital is just much more precise than analog? Yeah, this is pretty, yeah, this is, uh, our, our encoders have 8,000 counts or uh, points per revolution. So, very high resolution. Um, very precise control, repeatability, spot on. You can, you know, create a move, shoot a live plate, and then shoot the exact same motion over two hours, and then composite a time lapse into a real, uh, real time uh, move or shot. You can uh, shoot, st you know, do a stop motion. Go, it's frame accurate, so you can just like reposition it by frame. I mean, it really is limitless. What we can't do today, we'll be able to do tomorrow. We built this system to last 10 years. Our coverage of NAB 2012 is brought to you by. Kessler, innovative tools for filmmakers. Lettuce Direct. It's better with lettuce. LettuceDirect.com. Next light. Get lit. We can run 256 axis. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of new products coming out for the Fusion over the next several years that's on our whiteboard currently. So just uh, designed to be scalable for the for yeah, long Yeah, it's all modular. Everybody, uh, every component, you know, you, don't, you can start off with one piece or, you know, ten. So what, what would an, um, an uh, entry point for this be? Well, the, most people are going to want a three-axis system, a slide, pan, tilt. That's going to be a common one, and we're going to be able to sell that package for under 6000 so this, look, this looks like a complicated setup. Uh, walk me through, how, how would I go about assembling this thing? Well, it's actually very quick, especially if you're using our new quick release plate gate to snap everything together. Uh, the cables, you can't screw it up. I mean, it, you, you know, you can plug into any port. They're a quick disconnect, uh, watertight connection. And basically, when you plug in all your different devices, it doesn't matter. Just stick cables in any port that's open. They all talk on like a network. So there is no right or wrong way to hook it up. As long as all the wires are plugged in, you're in good shape. Uh, so the brain is actually what houses the software, and what it does, it's a, it has a built-in Wi-Fi web server, so it actually serves up to whatever device that you want to run this on, whether it be an iPad, a Mac, or PC, you just uh, launch your web browser and the HTML5 interface will load up. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinebate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. And that's what and we're that's looking what at right here? here. Yes. Okay. So walk us through this. What, okay, how, let's so say let's say we wanted to do um, a VFX sequence. We wanted to do like a couple passes. How would how would we do that? Okay. Well, the first thing I mean you want to do it's very simple setup. You just use uh, you you would click on your different device that you want to adjust. It's kind of like I want. I don't, it's not an analog mode, but it's. I guess analog in, in the way that you move it around. Okay, sure. Um, and you would use your slider here to just position your camera into the, what your first starting keyframe is. You would then hit record keyframe, and that's what these dots are. Those are, are points that you recorded uh, keyframes. Those are motor positions. Then you just go to your end frame or whatever your next frame that you want to um, you know record at, and adjust the camera, zoom, focus, pan, tilt, slide into that position, and hit record keyframe and then these lines will come up and that's the path this is a digital uh path and once you're once you're to that point you can uh, double click on these nodes to get the bezier curves mm -hmm. smooth out your motion this is going to um represent your ramping you can ease in or ease yep, out ease in ease out 
And um, once you're to that uh, point, then you just, over here on the timeline, right now I have set to play this move over 25 seconds, just the overall time, and you hit play. Uh, right now we have it on looping, so that's why it's just uh, you know going going back and forth with the same motion. What, what do you feel like the biggest misconception about motion control is? Give us give us a. Well, I mean, obviously you look at it, it looks complicated, but literally, I mean, we've I mean, we have people walking up here and setting up moves in two minutes. It's very comprehensive. You just put a camera in a position, hit record keyframe. These are all just tools to do that and information uh, like position time overall percentage so there's a lot of stuff going on there but you know half the stuff you don't even need to look at it's just there if you do want the information I feel like somebody who had a basic understanding of After Effects would figure this exactly. out very quick right yep it's much like editing software so talk to me about um, availability and, and shipping here okay so um, on our Fusion uh, Kessler Fusion website we have a timeline uh, in May we're going to start shipping out uh, units to um, our Kessler shooters and beta test team just to make sure everything's rock solid and by the end of May early June we hope to start shipping small quantities. Hope to be in full production by July and August. Stay tuned for more coverage fresh from the floor 